the Scruzer looks like a big scooter, but it's not for kids. Powered by an electric motor, it can zip up to speeds of 25 kilometers per hour. It's allowed on bikeways and even sidewalks in Germany, not just on the street. Dresden-based business consultant Jens Thiemer developed it. It was simple. Walking bugged me, and driving a car was even worse, especially for short distances in town. I needed something that suited me. Cycling wasn't my style, and it had to be different from what you see on the streets. The 50-year-old lets passers by in Dresden take his prototypes for a test spin. Tima designed the Scruzer, but let a team of engineers put it together. It took them two years to come up with the Scruzer. You can sit or stand while you ride. It's cool and fun like a skateboard, but way faster. Exciting, but different from a bike. I thought I was going to drive into this window. Great to drive, great. Guaranteed fun. Doesn't keep you fit, though. Like an electric bicycle, the electric scooter has an impulse drive. It knows how much speed the rider is generating and multiplies this. All of the parts are made in Germany, but the name was inspired by some English words. Well, I thought long and hard and put together lots of words. And I ended up with Scruiser, a combination of scooter and cruising. More and more electrically powered vehicles are coming onto the market, and some are really unique. The Segway, for example. Invented in the US in 2001, it's used primarily for tourism today. But police in Bremen are also using them in a pilot patrolling project. Electric bicycles are becoming more and more popular too. Estimates indicate that there are 1.3 million of them on Germany's streets today. The deputy head of the Berlin Agency for Electromobility, Thomas Meissner, predicts that in two decades about half of all bikes will be electrically powered. He says there will be a niche market for the Scruzer and Segway as well. There are always new ideas regarding electromobility, and that depends on what electric vehicles offer. They ease the burden on city streets particularly because they're emissions-free and quiet, really decisive factors in cities. And they can be powered with renewable energies, meaning they also help protect the environment. But electric vehicle technology comes at a price. The Scruzer sells for around 4,000 euros. It's okay that it costs 4,000 euros. Compared to a used car for 2,000 euros, it's a bit high. It's fun, ultimately, but four grand for fun is a lot of money. If I had lots of money, then it would be a cool machine to whiz around town and in the pedestrian zone. Jens Thiemer wants his Scruzer to appeal to affluent urbanites, people who make lots of little trips and aren't into more conventional means of transport. We're talking about urban mobility or electric mobility. Now in 2013, we're at the very beginning. It's going to develop enormously. Traffic will increase, people will need alternatives. And I always imagine someday I'll be sitting in Buenos Aires and a Scruzer will go by, and that'll make me so happy. The Scruzer will be available in shops from May next year. 60 orders have already come in from around the globe. <laughs>